finally sleeps here with the last update for Lunar New Year. A lot to go over, and some of this I recorded over the last couple of days, so my mood may be a bit manic. Uh, this has been one hell of a ride trying to get the most out of the event because all the different aspects to this thing, but I'll get into that in a minute. First, I'd like to thank the newest team member at FinallyHeSleeps.com, at Jacking Paul Jackson. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Much appreciated. If you haven't checked out FinallySleeps.com yet, make sure you do. There's a bunch of member-only stuff that gets posted over there, including my best sniping filters, charts, event breakdowns, and more. Don't forget to subscribe Subscribe here either so you can get notified as soon as new videos post. Before I get into my last couple of days in Lunar New Year and the roller coaster that has been, I want to remind everyone to cash in all of your Lunar Coins. With this last being the last reset, there's no reason to hold on to any of them. Grab food points for Zodiac Spins, which will either give you players you can sell or save, or Lunar Coins that you can turn into more stuff in the store, including more Zodiac Spins. Uh, use all your remaining red envelopes, firecrackers, everything. Hopefully you were smart enough to run all the numbers and came into this last day of the event with enough lunar points, lunar coins, and red envelopes to finish strong and secure your claim on long lay. And before everyone starts asking in the comments, I'm not sure how long after this event it's going to take for the market to recover and go from a bear back to a bull. I'm planning on holding on to all my elites until we see a major jump, uh, like big jump. Probably in March, or at the very least, when we get confirmed dates on the release of squad building challenges. That's why I keep referring to it as the long game. So keep your ADD in check. And just chill, people. Relax. For the Masters from Zodiac, I'm holding on to them. Currently the same. Um, Gernabry. Uh, yeah, because everyone got him and he's worth absolutely nothing at the present. I'm not sure when he'll go up, or if he will go up, or if they'll even, but you know, there's no way I'm giving away 90 plus rated players for less than 3 million. I'll burn him as XP as a matter of principle before I give him away for that. If you followed along since the beginning of this event and made it to long way, let me know in the comments below. My hope is that by watching how I go into these events, it'll help everyone else better plan in the future for future events. For me, that's part of what makes this game fun. Anyone wondering about those Master Pig players was in for one hell of a surprise when EA released them late in the week in the store in exchange for an asinine amount of Lunar Coins. Nice EA. You could have just as easily listed their prices like this and it wouldn't have made a damn bit of difference. Also, I hope no one was suckered into EA's carrot on a stick flash packs over the course of this event, which gave out nothing you could really ever need. Or worse yet, the Heartbreaker fiasco where they gave away 200 free points on day one that was the video game equivalent of a crack dealer letting you have a hit for free, except in EA's case, they pulled the pipe away from your lips before you could even get that first hit. Which, now as I say it out loud, really isn't so bad so I don't know, maybe I need a better metaphor or not because on day two EA came back with a but wait there's more 300 more heartbreaker points so yeah they pulled that pipe away but before you could inhale like Lucy Van Pelt helping Charlie Brown kick a football then 24 hours later they channeled Curtis Mayfield's 1972 hit Pusher Man from the greatest black exploitation film of all time, Superfly, and shoved that pipe right back in your mouth and whispered in your ear, Go ahead, there's more where that came from. It really isn't a good way to segue from that into anything, so let's just go ahead and look at the last couple of days in Lunar New Year. So I may have screwed this up pretty hardcore. I've been working the numbers this whole time and was sure beyond a doubt that I'd end up with long way. I'd go all the way to reward 19, eight firecrackers, and have lunar points to spare. I started thinking that it may be a waste to put all my eggs in that one basket. 
I didn't need all those red envelopes. There wasn't a ton of stuff in the firecrackers, and they all seemed to fizzle out on the first or tri second try anyway. I decided to put some of my lunar coins, like a lot of my lunar coins, into foo points because I thought a few of the master players on the zodiac wheel would be nice, be worth more coins, and then the eight firecrackers in reward 19. Plus more spins on the zodiac wheel were going to turn into even more lunar coins, so it was going to be a wash, you know, no matter what. I also realized that without getting reward 19. I was going to miss out on the eight firecrackers that I needed to secure the lunar logo in the quest because that's real goddamn important. So I went ahead and used some of the lunar coins for fireworks while still making sure I had enough red envelopes in the bank to finish out all the red envelope challenges and get my bonuses, figuring in any time I completed with all 25 I'd get two more firecrackers anyway. So. There was a lot of numbers getting thrown around, and some of them were getting crunched, some of them were getting forgotten. And my dumbass looked at the three days remaining as three more days. Not three days, including the one we're on. How could this happen? I'm not sure. Anyway, now that my head is on straight, and I've looked at the calendar and confirmed that the last reset will be on Sunday, not Monday. It looks like I'm definitely going to get the Lunar logo, yay! But me getting Long Lay is going to come down to EA putting enough Lunar points in the store for Lunar coins or red envelopes. Not sure I even have enough time to get another 2500 gems for another pack. So we just had another reset. Even with the lunar coins in the store, I'm going to go into the last day 36 lunar points short. One day off. One day. Thanks to my stupidity over the last 48 hours, I'm looking at the 4 hour free packs, tomorrow's weekly campaign reset, daily quests for the next 2 days, just to get me close to another gem pack, but still probably short. To get there, I'm gonna have to go back to head to head and put a ton of work into finally getting myself to FIFA champion for the gems in that quest. Hate head to head. 10 times more frustrating than versus. So today was the last reset. EA threw 20 lunar points in the red envelopes, which was nice of them. Still leaves me 26 short for long lay. Guess I'm going all in on head to head tonight and then hoping that the gem pack spits out more than 25, which you know it won't. Still have three zodiac spins, so I may end up with enough lunar points for something. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well, guess what? First spin on the Zodiac Wheel secured Mertens. Third spin gave up 20 lunar points because that Mertens opened up the lunar points in the wheel. Finally. I thought I was still six short because again, I wasn't paying attention. I even jumped in WhatsApp to bitch to my league mates about a night of head to head ahead of me for all the gems I needed to get that last pack. Then I did as many of the red envelopes as I could, then grabbed the lunar points, then did the daily events and grabbed those. So I was 72 short coming in today. I grabbed 12 in the first 8 hour reset, which leaves 60 short. I grabbed 20 in the red envelopes, which leaves 40 short. I grabbed 20 in my zodiac spins, which means I'm only 20 short with 
two more rounds of eight hour resets to go. Short of a jet engine crashing through the ceiling tonight and Donnie Darkoing me before I can finish out the last eight hour reset, I'm guaranteed long lay. Which says a lot about my math skills or my lack of sobriety, either way, good grief. I damn near screwed this whole thing up. So, cashed in all my lunar coins because we're on the last day and there's no reason to hold on to any of them. There were a ton of FU points in up for grabs. I ended up with three more Zodiac wheel spins. I was hoping for a Continuo, but instead, 20 more lunar points. Long lay. So let's recap this. I went from panicked failure to euphoric success in the course of an hour. This is why I love this game. So exciting. Screw the Blatchler. This is where the real drama is. Already posted long lay. I don't think holding on to him is going to get more than 20 million that he's going for right now. Um, don't know if he'll sell because that price is going to drop quickly as more people get him. A lot of people are still where I was an hour ago thinking they missed out on him and they're turning to the market to grab him. If he sells, I'll be ecstatic. Uh, if he doesn't, I'm just going to hold on to him for a while and hope for an increase. <laughs> it's questionable if it'll go any further than $20 million, but I may keep him for a while and try him out head to head. Who knows? I'm just excited I didn't totally screw the pooch on this one. So there you have it. Another successful event comes to an end. Hope everyone hits their goal. Keep investing in elites and get ready for the market to shift. If everything stays the course as we expect, Carnival will be up next. I'll put together a video early in the week about what to expect and what to do to get ready. Like, subscribe, share, comment, come at me, whatever. Check out FinallySleeps.com and as always, as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos.